Hi everyone, and welcome to the last episode of Scrap Bin Saturday. Um, yeah, I'm a little late on the video. Um, I had a really very busy weekend, so with Easter and all that, so I didn't get a chance to um, even get this taped until now. So um, I wanted to show you the paper pad that I had been using most uh, during the Scrap Bin Saturday was this Bow Bunny, which I had a lot of scrap pieces. I only had a few sheets full ones left um, so I wanted to, to use it up so um, I used the what I had left of the soiree from Bow Bunny and all I have left is this sticker sheet which the stickers I can use pretty much on any other project and then a few um, embellishment stickers and then um, as far as the paper this is all I have left I have a couple of well, I have one journaling card that I can use, and then this is the, the last of the, the scraps. So that is pretty much killed that whole collection. So let me show you. Um, I do have a few items that um, I'm going to use in, as embellishments for other things. Um, on one of the papers, I had these really cute one-inch circles, which I punched out a bunch of them. And what I did was I used some glossy accents and then I used some uh, very fine glitter so they're very sparkly. And then I inked them with uh, walnut stain around the edges. And what I did was I used some scrap pieces of cardstock and I made them quite, quite thick. So they're almost like little chipboard pieces. But I think they turned out really pretty and they're very, very sparkly. And I have a ton of them that I can use, so I will use them as embellishments, or I, I will give them as Happy Mail to someone. And then I punched out um, some butterflies, and uh, I made these really cute um, butterflies with a, a butterfly punch that I have from EK Success. And I did use um, some scrap pieces of... Um, Pearl trim. I wish my camera would focus. It's not going to focus on these. But there, and if you can see, the top butterfly has um, some glitter on it as well, some sparkle, and which I used on my glossy accents for the uh, glitter. And of course, that it's not going to focus, and I don't know why. But yeah, I made several of them. And then I, um, and I'll use them as well on um, as embellishments on other things and then I do have a few um, other ones that I have not finished which I had a an EK success butterfly and I cut that out and again I cut several pieces of uh, cardstock to make them really thick and then I have this design here that I did and I have these pieces that I punched out I really like this one with the flowers on the edge and then there was this one. So I have those that I can finish up and uh, decorate as well. And I used um, more of my bag lace, um, which it doesn't seem to be going down very much because I keep adding to the bag. But uh, I will eventually use it all up. And then what I did was I have a heart punch um, from EK Success. And I punched out um, a bunch of hearts. And I had these really cute... Uh, clothes pins. Um, I had six of them in my stash. So what I did was I used some of the scrap paper for each of the clothes pins. I made the heart with the cardstock and the, the pattern paper. And then I used one of the butterflies that I created and then some scrap pieces of lace. So I made six of these. There's that. Two of them have the same lace. Well, there's uh, sets of, of two. So each Two of them have this lace. Two of them have um, this really cute dainty lace. And then I just flip the lace on each one just to give it a different look. And then I have these two with um, that lace. So I thought those turned out really cute. And each clothespin has a different uh, pattern paper along with the, the heart. So I did those. 
And then I also made um, these embellishments here, which are um, mason jars along with the hearts. And I'll take one out of the bag so you can get um, a better look. And I made eight of these. And what I did was I had a piece of paper that had these um, keys. So I fussy cut the keys out. There were different style keys. So I fussy cut them out and I glossy accented them. I wish my camera would focus. I don't know why it's not. And what I did was I, um, again, cut uh, several pieces of cardstock, the pattern paper. Um, I added some lace to the mason jar. I added lace to the heart. Then I, I attached the key, and then I added um, one of the butterflies that I made. So there's a set of four there. Really cute. And then um, I packaged these up. These are going to be um, some Happy Mail. And then my packaging, what I did was um, I used one of those um, glittery circles that I made along with a butterfly and I used it as an embellishment on my bag topper which I used some pieces of lace again from my uh, scrap bag, bag. So there's one set and then I created a second set so there's four in here as well. So I created that and then I created an IC card which I'm going to send this, um, I believe her name is Lisa, and I will uh, link her um, YouTube channel down below. She has an IC challenge going on, and I'm um, right off the top of my head, I can't think of what the name is. I think it's uh, Charlisa, maybe, but I will link her down in the description box below. So I made this IC card out of, um, this was a perfect uh, 4x6 um, journaling card from the pattern paper. And then I just used some of the paper and I made a flag. This is one of the sticker embellishments. And then I used some smaller pieces to make more flags underneath. I did pop um, the embellishment, the sticker embellishment up just to give it a little dimension. I used some of the lace from my scrap bag, some scrap pieces of um, pearl trim, and then I used some uh, new go dots on the side. And then I did put some uh, dimensional tape underneath um, the edges of the banner here because um, the lace was a little thick, so I didn't want it to be uh, floppy. But I made that, and I will send that off to her. I will put my information on the back. So that is for her um, IC challenge that she has going on. I really like the way that that turned out. And then the last project um, that I created, I created another box and card um, gift set. So um, this box, I believe, is uh, six by six. And I created the box and I used the paper um, to decorate the box. I used um, this uh, lace that was in my scrap bag, which there was actually more than a yard, so that worked out perfect. I just kind of took it off a roll and threw it in the bag and I double layered it so I absolutely love how that turned out and then um, I have this uh, wood piece I believe that I got from Michaels and then this uh, self-adhesive bling came from Hobby Lobby and of course my wild orchid craft flowers that I use and then I cut several of the pieces scrap pieces up into uh, flag banners and just layered them and then I popped that all up on uh, dimensionals so that's all popped up and then I have a small piece of lace on on this side I have a doily underneath here which kind of got covered up along with some lace um, that also got covered up a little bit but I absolutely love how this box turned out on the inside of the box I did um, paper the bottom of the box just to give it a little bit more stability and I used um, Victorian Velvet and Walnut Stain Distress Ink and then the card I made is actually um, an easel card so it will stand up and I love the way that this turned out 
the inside of the card. Um, you can do your message here. You can have a sentiment here. I left this blank for whoever gets it. Um, they can add their own sentiment. Then I have um, some trim and some lace for my scrap bag. And then the front of the card, um, I absolutely loved uh, this image, so I made sure that this was um, not covered up. I absolutely loved the key with the flowers. I used a doily, which I cut in half, and then um, placed it amongst some pieces of the pattern paper that I actually I tore. And then I used um, the Distress Ink just to, to give it some definition on the side. I have a heart wood piece from Michaels along with a key, so key to my heart. I left a sentiment off, so whoever gets this, they can add their own sentiment. There's enough room to add a sentiment. And then again, I used um, Wild Orca Craft flowers on this card. So that is what I have created, what was left of that collection, which I was able to get a lot of little items out of it. So I want to thank you for um, checking out my channel and hopping along with this collaboration with us. I will link everybody else down in the description box below. I would like to thank Megan for letting me join in on this collaboration. And um, I will um, continue to use my scraps. Um, I may still do um, my own type of uh, scrap bin Saturday just so you can see what I've been working on and what I uh, create with what other scraps I do have. I do have a lot of scraps. I have a lot of paper that I could use. So um, I want to thank you for stopping by and uh, on to the next collaboration which will be coming out very soon. And uh, any comments uh, are appreciative and um, please subscribe and check out all the other ladies. Thanks. Bye.